Yo guys, this is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall channel, On Point Reviews all day every day. We're back today with a fragrance that a lot of you have already heard for and I'm just kind of making this video for those new people that have never heard from this and maybe you're a fan of the channel by now and you know you want to hear what I say about this. I've owned this since the beginning of time, since the beginning, my first 10 ever fragrances. I got it because it was unique. The name was unique and then all the there was a bunch of people raving about this. So this is none other than by Killian's Black Phantom Memento Mori right there. Black Phantom right there by Killian. This is a fragrance I've had since the beginning and I don't regret having it since then. I'm going to talk about the scent itself. I'm going to talk about the advantages of owning this one. It's not cheap, but it does have its own advantages. I'm going to talk about that. Where does it fit in your collection? And why am I uh, also trading it out? Okay, so we're going to talk about that. Which we're, I'm trading it out pretty much this week. Okay, so we'll talk about that. Let's hit the music. Okay, we're back guys black phantom black phantom okay i'm not gonna open this anymore you know what's in it it's got a skull coffer it you know absolutely crazy and then here's the bottle right here and uh it's absolutely perfect killian bottle let's go spray it for good old times oh wow yeah, see, even after all this time, Black Phantom seems to wow me every single time. And if I'm if, if I got wowed and I own all these fragrances plus the ones in the back, you will probably get wowed if this is the first time you've smelled this, okay? And if you hate this for some reason, uh that you're crazy. <laughs> okay? Black Phantom, okay? Black Phantom is by Killian. This thing right here is well known as a very complex gourmand, okay? But to me, it's actually a fusion of the best of Killian, okay? Because there are, you know, fragrances that Killian has. That I feel like they're the best of Killian. Like, Intoxicated is the coffee. And then you also have Back to Black, which I reviewed. I feel like Black Phantom is the unique cousin that fuses all these good things about the top Killians that are gourmandish. And this is the result, Black Phantom right here. Okay, this one right here, what really makes it unique is chocolate rum caramel okay as well as coffee okay so again that's chocolate rum caramel and coffee but let me say this guys once you spray this it's complex okay really what you're gonna get is oh my gosh that's what you're gonna get once you spray black phantom on you and let me just tell you that the strength level of this is it's strong okay like i usually just wear two sprays out of this which means it saves a lot of juice i think it projects very strongly i think it's it's very rich i feel like the 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 fragrance itself is thick and rich and uh some people call it beast mode for me it's a very good projector i can't say that it's beast mode but it's a it's a very good projector and it lasts pretty much a long time for me okay so right here when you smell this you will have a combination first of chocolate and rum okay the chocolate here is uh, if i could describe it it's sort of like a liquor chocolate or maybe a dark chocolate infused with liquor infused with the rum because it's almost like just one blend you know you can't really take out the chocolate on its own and be like oh this is like chocolate no because the rum comes in and the rum is so nice it's it, the perfect booze for this guys because it does not push it into super booze territory basically it turns the chocolate into a chocolate liquor which is like that's what i like better than just all booze okay i do not i mean i'm not super into like the alcoholic type smells but if you fuse this with the chocolate right it does smell amazing and unique i mean i'm just smelling it right now i'm just like oh wow that is so crazy and then you have uh the very unique coffee that is basically the same intensity as the chocolate coming in together with the chocolate and the rum 
and it's just that's it you know 10 out of 10 you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i mean what, what i don't know what, what's so new about this guys most of you have already smelled this you're probably like gosh you, you, we know what you're talking about troy once the coffee comes in it's such a great base uh but it turns this whole entire thing into its own like you know almost like you could say an accord right it's a it's it's a it's a coffee liquor chocolate accord it's just one thing and that's what i like the most about black phantom you know that's why the you know the the reviews and people trying them out you know it's just a phenomenal response because they all come together into this one blend and it's oh man it is quite amazing i think that uh this is a scent that even if people were familiar with rum even if people were familiar with chocolate, even if, if people were familiar with caramel, I think that they're not going to distinguish anything. It's just going to come out as one nice, there's going to be like, what is that? Oh, you know? Um, now, I will say this, guys, that this is, to me, it, this is, it can be unisex. That's one of the things that I've been asked to do now is to say, you know, what do you think, Troy? Is it unisex? Is it like for a man or a woman? I think, I mean, this is really unisex. You know why, guys? Because there is a, a sweet factor here that is just, it can bridge into the femme side. And, you know, that's the caramel. This also has sugar cane in it. I mean, the sweetness here, it goes into, it can go into femme ter territory the only masculine part here really is the the booze as well as the coffee you know like those notes are mainly you can say masculine in a way but again the way this develops though is that it becomes sweeter and sweeter as it progresses and as the layers progress you know the caramel starts coming out even more the sweet caramel comes out even more so it's like it's such a great olfactory experience okay to own this in my opinion again performance wise too two sprays is really all you need it's very sexy i think that black phantom also is made as a, as a draw-in fragrance like although it is strong i would just still put two sprays on this because i want to draw people in if you are a single person guy or gal you should put two sprays to get them heighten their curiosity whoever you're talking to your date or uh, a new single person you're talking to it will draw them in and they'll be like you know slowly intoxicated as they come in because of all these wonderful notes blended together seriously it's it's pretty damn amazing okay are there any drawbacks to black phantom well maybe that you'd have to wait until the colder weather you know which is not bad because it's already september so we're 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 getting there. Uh, we're starting to get colder nights here in California. Uh, this one is basically more for the fall and the winter, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I've tried it in the summer and it kind of didn't match what was going on, you know. But when I you know wore this in the winter, oh man, it was excellent. It was epic. So this one more is for more more than a, like a cold winter. However, if you are a gourmand lover. Or you are curious about gourmand scents. Dude, just have a go. It doesn't matter if you live, uh, I mean, as hot as, I don't know, like the Philippines right now. You know, it's pretty hot in the Philippines. You want to go, even if you're in the Philippines right now, if you are curious about gourmand fragrances or even complex fragrances or even, you know, fragrances that will wow you, you've got money to burn. Man, without a doubt, get one of these guys. Get Black Phantom memento mori i mean this thing is is it will truly knock your socks off and even if you're in hot weather i'm pretty sure you'll find a way to get to some ac and spray this okay because you're gonna love this okay like i barely for me this is like a you know more or less a 10 yeah, 10 out of 10 cent you know like it's just you know it because you could rotate all the other fragrances, come back to it, and you'd still feel the same. You'd still feel that it's 10 out of 10. And mind you, this is one of my first 10 fragrances ever. And at this point, you know I've rotated to almost everything. I've tried a lot, whether it's even if, even if it's on the, the wish list of most people that collect, you know, I've tried it. So going back to this, 
ah, it's playing it again right now and it's like oh man it is truly a 10 out of 10 i think that this is killian's i mean you know glory you know that this one is the the main fragrance that really killian should be the most proud of out of everything uh would there be a black phantom extreme that would be really interesting if they put that up right but you know black phantom right now on its own really is a must buy especially for niche people are getting into niche you want to do a, a starter pack top 10 follow my lead that's exactly what i did get black phantom i mean you can't go wrong okay and know that it's also a lot of sweetness you know so uh this is also for people exploring you know sweet scents if you want to explore into that or into gourmands but don't be like expecting that it's something else knowing that that's what everybody's already told you that it's gonna be sweet it is gonna be chocolate it is gonna be caramel and then you know you're gonna buy it and you're gonna be like oh i hate all this stuff you know you have to know that you're you're getting some coffee or some booze mixed with chocolate and caramel sweet and boozy coffee ah what can i say i mean this was a basically this was basically a 10 minute push for you to buy it huh <laughs> it's just, there's nothing bad i can say really you know the hype is real with black phantom i think most of you guys will agree with me i mean i'm just really making this cool video because i'm gonna let, let go of this bottle and if you're wondering why i'm letting go of this bottle i'm letting go of this bottle because this bottle you know in fragcom when, when we talk about trades black phantom is a strong trading you know it's got value when you trade it okay uh no matter what anytime you know there's gonna be either new people or experienced people going back to black phantom someday i'll go back to black phantom okay and um you know it's a it's, it's a high value tool meaning you can trade it for something that's quite be, quite good or even better you know because that person is looking for black phantom uh, i was lucky to get the memento mori uh plate and i think that makes this even rarer i don't know but uh this is being traded out uh as of tomorrow uh to one of my friends who is trading me man an awesome thing as well okay but this is what he was looking for so i said yeah okay let's do that let's let's review black phantom before we let it go because you know uh, I would love for you guys to know about it if you don't know about it, okay? So that's the reason. Uh, that means we're going to get another cool thing. We might get another 10 out of 10 fragrance in our lot. We have a lot coming in every day, okay? But yeah, I mean, Black Phantom was an amazing run for me. And I suggest it for anybody that is looking into it. I mean, it's a good, yeah, it's expensive. It's like $290 or $300. Trust me, it'll be worth it. You'll keep it for a long time as I did, okay? So that's it. That's my review on Black Phantom. I do review a lot of other Killians. Make sure you check it on our niche fragrance playlist. I will link the other videos from the other Killians I've reviewed, other masterpieces from Killian, and I'm going to review a lot more Killians in the future. So watch out for that. So until then, this is Troy D. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace out.